Alright guys, welcome back to Stone Block 2. We're here today. We are doing stuff and fun things and as you can see all of the torches are gone. Yeah, I went ahead and made up a painter and painted a whole bunch of, uh, of stuff. Uh, we have a whole bunch of glowstone underneath these now. Went ahead and filled them in. Uh, these are all painted glowstone. I uh, painted glowstone back here so we don't need any more torches. Uh, and if, except for a few places. Uh, but I got all the torches out of here. Got all the torches out of here, did a lot off camera as you can see, moved all of our stuff over here. I even have some somewhat of an automatic processing system for these. I just load up the materials. Right now we have the engineering press. So let's grab some diamonds. Oops, I need them. I need them to get my inventory. We just put them in this one and it automatically presses them for us and we'll get a stack. So basically we're gonna be automating that pretty soon, but not today. Um switch this over to cactus because we need the cactus dye because we're gonna be working on something cool and ready check this out ready oh hold up I got this cool storage bag yeah pretty cool it is from cyclic so boom this is what I'm thinking for the space down here I have automatic glass getting made up because I keep running out of it um, but yeah this is what I'd like to do I would make this like a server room almost put all of our drives down there. And as you can see from inventory, we're gonna set up some auto crafting today. So that's why I needed to get all that green stuff because oops, we are gonna be making a separate circuit for this going straight down. This will be our green circuit so it won't interfere with our purple one. And that's lime, we'll just do green. All right, so we got 32 of these. Okay, so my idea was to make this kind of like a server room, which I think would be pretty cool. Uh, we'll have one ME interface in the middle, and then it'll be surrounded by uh, it'll be surrounded by molecular assemblers. And if you don't know what these are, these like are the auto crafting thing. And if we have four like this, it just makes the auto crafting like extremely fast because it can use all of them. So let's see, let's grab a cool block. Um, I believe if we add some sky stone to a lava, oh, I got rid of that. Uh, yeah, so I found out that I've, I've had a few specter coils here. So I've been just using these on these guys. But crap, I need lava now. Uh, let's see. Grab you, grab a, uh, what were they called? So barrel, and then we can grab that fluid. Yeah, we do have a little bit of pressurized, pressurized fluid conduit left. Perfect. So we're gonna real quick here. We're gonna set up this little little thing. Okay, so it extracts out of here and inserts into there. Okay, and then we should just be able to right click this. Yeah. So what this does is it will give us the cool stone. Skystone that I love so much. If you guys aren't aware, this is probably my favorite uh, block in all of modded Minecraft for some reason. I can't explain why. I don't know. Uh, so let's see here. We're going to experiment with some of this. Maybe... Yeah, we'll try this. So we're going to need to make these look a little bit better. Uh, so I might place glowstone here like that. Oh, you know what we should do? We should get chisel. Yeah. So this will be the little setup we're doing. We're gonna have, the, the, we're gonna extend this room out quite a bit, probably all the way from the bottom of our whole base, and we'll have these all lined up in rows going here and here, and it'll kind of look like a server room, which is what I think would look cool. Um, we need to run that down to it, and we're gonna need to set up the crafting storage stuffs, which is why I have two of them. Uh, but let's see here. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, we're looking for the future of blocks. Yeah. All right, and I should have my chisel in my bag. Yep, sure do. All right, let's see here. Um, let's try these out. Let's see how these look. They would just go here, like so. Yeah, 
Yeah, I like that. I think we can make that work. And the cool thing is, is because Applied Energistics is the best, you just can connect down here and all of these get connected. Okay, so we need to go back quite a few blocks here. We're gonna run the green cable. Okay, so we're gonna have probably the blue network connect to all of our storage drives. Uh, and then the green cable will connect. Uh, that, that worked out somehow. So we need to go down two. So this needs to go over here. Oh, that's right, we need to go up. Oh, come on. How far up do we go? Aha, there it is. Okay, um, let's see, how are we going to connect to this? Hmm, let me think. All right, so I've gone ahead and made up four more of these uh, ME controllers, which is what we're going to need, but we need to do some moving around. And so we need to break this guy. And let's see here. this work just like I wanted to like that yep that works perfect and that will take a bit more power which is perfectly fine we are doing overkill anyway okay and so I also made some ME dense cable which I think I want to go ahead and have run down here Let's see can we reach that Sure can. Okay, so that's all connected to down there. Now we'll run the blue one just like straight down here. That way they won't ever connect and we can still have fun with it. Now we're going to need to reroute the wire, this wire, which is perfectly fine. Storage there. Uh, that's going to need some cable, huh? Let's grab it. Mm. That's right. See if we go ahead and make some oops missed. Uh, yep, we can make some more perfect. I hate how it uses the the good the good one, the pure flux crystals. I like I don't like that at all. Okay. There we go. And so that should be routed down. And we still have access to all of them. We do. Perfect. Okay. Need that dirt back, actually. Bam. Okay. So I've also switched something out. I'm trying these laboratory blocks down here, seeing how they're, seeing how I like them. Uh, so far, I do like it, but we're going to need to make some glowstone ones. And I changed this up. So you can get these cool factory blocks with chisel that work, that look like fans. And this one is malfunctioning, which is kind of cool because it you know, looks like a server is going. And you know fans don't need to be on all the time for servers. So I just think it'll look cool. And I'm also trying this out. I'm using these uh, sloppy plating. I don't know if I like it. Um, I might need to either pull it out one or push it back one. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing with that one. I might leave it at this. We need to get around back here, and actually, all this cable we put in. Yeah. Oh, oh no! It did all of the cable. All the. Oh uh, boy. Okay, let me go fix this. I'll be right back. All right, so I got it all fixed up. We have the dense cable all the way over here, and as you can see, it's only using up one channel. So this is going to be the way to go. Uh, we're going to eventually like kick it all the way out over there. But as you can see, this is up and running. And we should actually be able to work these. Now, my goal was to, let's see here, with the sloppy plating, maybe just have a border. This is what I'm thinking now. Um, let's place you here. Oh, not that one. 
Good thing is no mobs will spawn down there because of the cable, so we don't have to worry about it. I was thinking about putting all of the the crafting stuff back here. And because of the awesome cable we used, should just be able to do that. Yep, they're both online now. Okay, perfect. And we just surround it like so. And, you know, obviously it would go up with the 64Ks and all that, but we should be able to auto-craft now. Uh, but we, we need to be able to make the patterns. Let's see. Here, let me do some thinking. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just seeing about the spacing. I might do every two blocks have one, or I might do every three. Uh, I'm not 100% sure yet, because I'd like to have some farms on the sides, um, just so it looks kind of cool. Uh, but I, I don't know if I showed you guys this yet. I don't think I did, but this is what I would do. And these two rows here would be, or actually, we'd probably go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top with them. And then we could, in the middle, uh, we'd have like what's crafting or anything like that, uh, like a crafting monitor. Uh, and obviously down here is where we're going to have that. But we're going to need to go ahead and make a pattern terminal. Let's see here. I mean, interface, that's a fluid. We might get into that soon. Uh, I mean, interface terminal would not be a bad idea, but we need the pattern terminal. We're going to have to go ahead and make up another one of these. Spooking noises. Okay. Let's see here. Oops, I don't need to know how to make that. Okay, I made a total of three. Don't know why I made three. Might actually put an access point down there, which wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, so we need the pattern terminal. Did I make a crafting? No, I didn't make a crafting. First derp update, da, 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 my own way. Okay, so we have the pattern terminal. Perfect. Let's go ahead. And do we have any, is it called the facade miss? It is. Perfect. And we're going to need some cables. Oh, I need the purple cable. Okay, we'll put that in there. And just one purple cable up here like that with the face. And if we click that, yep, check it out. Okay, so now we're going to need to make some blank patterns. And what I was saying, check it out, is the wood is around it so you don't see through it, which I love so much because you can just blend them into everything. Uh, let's see, where are the blank patterns? That's an encoded pattern. Where did the blank one go? It's over here on this page. Okay, we'll just look it up. There it is. And certain scores. Why do you always do that? <laughs> That's so annoying. Don't use the good thing. Use the one that we have stupid amounts of. All right, so we made 26 patterns, which isn't bad. Let's put these up in here. Okay, so we do have the option to make like a normal crafting one. And then if we set up auto crafting for, um, say, a different, like a, like a smelter or something like that, we can go to processing here. And so you put your items in here, what you'll need, and then it'll come out here that that's what you put in, this is what you get out. So it's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make one. We're gonna make one for 1K storage drives. Let's see here. Yep, there you are. Here's pattern. Perfect. It uses the right one. Okay, so let's go ahead, throw it in here. Bam, pattern. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's also make one, since we're always making these guys, let's go up here. Make a crafting pattern for this. And where's the other one? Where are you? There you are. Right, no, we want nether quartz for that one. Okay, hold up. Wait a minute. Yep, there we go. One flux dust. Charge surge quartz crystal. Oof. I don't want to use charge service quartz, so we're going to have to use... We're going to grab those again. See, you have to pay really close attention to what they use. Service quartz crystals. See, that's the one I wanted. Now we have both of those. Let's put these in here as well. 
And then let's do one for an ME interface as well, so I can show that to you guys. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. So super simple. Oh, I crafted one up. <laughs> okay. I'll just put you in there. All right. So let's see here. We should have everything we need. Let's look up ME. Let's just look up interface. Hmm. There it is. I guess you need to type all of it in. So we're going to say, let's make, did we make 10 of them? No. Let's grab a few Flux crystals. Let's get everything we need to craft it up. We'll make 10 ME interfaces. These will help us out a heck ton when we're making things. Okay, so we got the Fluix dust. Let's put that in here. Uh, let's look up ME interface. There we go. What else do we need to make 10? Oh, we need some glass. Oh, is that for light stained glass? We need to just have normal glass in there. So let's look at that. There's only one thing in here that uses glass since the ME interface. Yeah, darn it, we have to reuse this one. I bet if we go like this, yeah, it, it erases it. So we'll have to do that with the other one. Let's get normal glass here. Like so, there we go. All right, oops, I sprinted. Okay, and let's see here. ME interface, there you are, 10. Bam. I think it's already done. Dang it. <laughs> we, were, we were too fast. Yeah, okay. So let's see here. Hmm. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, I did. I did. I'm trying to do it so we can see it. There we go. Yeah, look at that. So it was using all of them at the same time. So we were getting, yeah, it is, it's going to be crazy fast with this setup here. Um, another thing I would like to do, is look, now we have a ton of ME interfaces. <laughs> it's 30 now. That's going to be amazing later on. We do have enough to make one more like station for the molecular assembler. Uh, we're going to see about making a co-processing unit, which... Perfect. There we go. And these will go up top, and I guess I don't honestly know what these do. Supplies offline. Come on. There you go. Now you're online. I'm actually not 100% sure what the co processing one does. Does it say maybe in the quest? But holy cow, 21? Let's see, component of the traditional item delivery from the CPU to the ME interface for crafting. It's been used to make more assemblers active in parallel for the job and thus increase overall crafting speed. Okay, so that's good. Uh, but let's go ahead here and we're going to go ahead and collect some of these. So, ooh, a draconium chest. Awesome. Uh, water candle. That's an interesting name. Uh, garden, another garden cloche, cloche, whatever they're called. Diamond tier upgrade thing. You silk touch chance pendant, that's good. Basic flux storage, basic capacitors, those are always nice. Forge lexicon, okay. A builder, awesome. Basic flux storage, all right, we got that already. Drop of evil, invar laser gun. Uh, cobblestone generator. Is that everything here? Yeah. And then we got a bunch of this stuff because I made the some of this stuff off camera to make stuff. Okay, so we got another one of those. I already claimed that. Okay, three hoppers. That's okay. I'm more ender tanks. Those are always nice. Climbing gloves. I'm going to kill myself. Thanks, game. Uh, more chance cubes. Black Lotus. Oh my gosh, a compressed nether star. 
<gasps> Dracon, of course. So I think the higher tier, um, I might be wrong with this, but I think the higher tier you go with uh, the, the crafting stuff, the better the rewards are. Because, I mean, a Draconium chest, that's amazing. Like, we don't have a, much of a use for it now. The Invar laser gun is also amazing. Um, let's see here. Like, I need to go ahead and throw the laser gun in here. Another pickaxe. This book. Chisel. Uh, the hammer, because we don't really need it all that much. Maybe a climbing glove. Some of these. That's pretty much all we need in here at this time. We just need to kind of, like, put all of these away. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's see. How much can we make a 1K yet? Make like five. Now we need we need to auto make those. Unfortunately, this thing over here. But we're gonna end up using these advanced inscribers because you can make them quite a bit faster. So this one you only get three speed upgrade options. This one you get five. So we're gonna be using these quite a bit. We should also make a pattern for the acceleration cards. So a pattern for this, and then a pattern, not you. Oops, it's different. Oh crap, different for uh, between, oh yep, that's how we want it. Okay, so we got both of these. All right. Now the cool thing is, is you can actually put another one here and another one here for like crazy crafting, but I don't think we'll need that at all. Not that much. Maybe maybe end game, but not not yet. Um, so let's see here. I would like to before we go. No, I want to put almost covers on the side of it, and I know you can do that with chisel and bits. But it gets so messy. We need a bit bag first. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. At. What do we from chisel? Okay, so that's a normal chisel. That's the one we want. Okay, let's look up skystone stuff because this is. I'd like to put almost a little cover on the outside. And what do we do with this tool? Use Alt Left. Display menu. Alt Left. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, crap. There's one more here. Yeah, so that's what I want to do with all of them. A little cover, but there are so many flipping bits that you make with them, dude. Gosh, so annoying. What can I do with these? Make a bit bag. We're gonna make a bit bag. We're gonna throw these all on the ground. We're gonna walk over. Yeah. Look at that. It's almost already full. So I don't want to be able to see the covers from the sides, but we might actually need to change that up to like a factory block. Can we do that to a factory block? Yeah, let's look here. We need to pick these up. Hmm, weird. Won't go in the bit bag. That will. Okay, Um. let's have a look. Factory block. We're going to grab this here. We're going to grab our chisel. There you are. Not you. Not you. Now what would look good on the side? Um, I think exhaust plating would look pretty good. So let's place one of these down. Cool. And 
That's all I would want. So we say we could put these down at the bottom. Like so. Or on the fans. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, let's put these on the fans. Because that way it looks like it's ex exhausted. Or it's exhausted. <laughs> that was like a bad dad joke. Okay. So one more there. There is. And how full is the bit bag? It's getting pretty full. You guys wanted me to get into chiseling bits. Here you go. There were one or two comments about it. I'm not a fan. Because I, I don't want it to just go into bits like that. That just makes me mad. One more. There it is. But yeah, I definitely like that a lot better. I think that looks amazing. I think it looks good. So, need another bit bag. <laughs> uh, just put these in here. Okay. And then we will shift these all out of our inventory. All I'm doing is holding down control and Q and hovering over them. Yep, there we go. So yeah, let's pick these up. I will probably do a bit of cosmetic work off camera. I might add the ones on the other side over there as well. Uh, but I'm gonna wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, the Super Turtle, and today we worked on auto crafting. So if you guys did enjoy, see you next episode again. I don't know what I'm doing, different outro, trying to mix things up. But anyways, bye-bye, <laughs> whatever.